Hello and welcome back to Sunless Sunday, where we sail the Sunless Sea with me, Barden, and Lady Sakura. So, there's other stuff we can do in Nuncio, but I think we leave that for another visit, and we're going to um, leave here and head off. So, it's probably going to be a good idea to call in um, at Polythreme. So, I'm just wondering. Maybe we go here and then up to Polythreme and then um, maybe Godfall, Fieldhaven, Abbey's Rock, Salt Lines, make some more money there. Um, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. So obviously all the time um, with our Terra 88 and our Hull at 40 and no ability to go um at you know at full steam we're you know we're taking our life in our hands every time we set sail really but now um, we basically need need to be heading directly west and i'm still going to get the zbat out it should be helpful Got a wrap barge. I would like to be going a bit faster because they're catching up on us. Just hoping they change course before they spot us. They seem to be almost beelining it for us, so that's not good. Oh, there we go, they changed course. I was hoping to to find another port on our way, but it looks like it's underwater stuff instead. And we're getting a bit close as well to the port that I don't think there's going to be another one this close to it. Let's get to see about that anyway, because you know, in under uncharted waters, you can't be completely sure. And it does seem to be something to the south, like at least an island grouping, but maybe there's no port. Okay, so what have we got here? Roused at midnight. As the first watch ends, shout forward, rouse you. Your boatswain faces faces grim as you emerge from your cabin. We lost one, waited himself with pans, and gave herself to the deep. Took Cook's best kettle too. Morale is worsening, Captain. Let's um, distribute an extra rum ration, because we can afford it. We lost five terror, we lost one supply, but we also lost one crew. Okay. I think these formations might just be part of the Sea of Lilies. Yeah, it looks like it. But there certainly does seem to be maybe something in this area. But for now, it's going to have to remain a mystery. Won't stop me from sending the Z-Bat out though. Now let's head up to the port. So this voyage was really all about um, exploration, so any kind of um, any kind of financial rewards that we make are just going to be a bonus. 
Okay, let's get a port report there. I think that's probably all we're going to be able to do. Yeah. Let's leave there. And then we're heading for Polycarine. Hoping that the sea lilies gives us cover from any enemies, but it could also act as a trap. Like if you look at that shark there, if he decides to come for us, then we can't um, head to the west to avoid him. But it looks like he chose a different path, which is good for us. Now we need to rear slightly to the east. I think, um, you know, in future voyages, it might be a good idea, you know, uh, to maybe save some echoes for, like, you know, although it's exorbitant prices in the um, Empire of Hands for the likes of fuel and supplies, it it'll be nice to to at least um, use it as kind of a staging area. And if we have if we have the echoes, you know, we could we could easily um, if you look, we could easily uncover a lot of them in the map here and here, and maybe down to the south as well. Just using there as a base rather than um, London. We always seem to get unlucky. Oh, I was going to say we always seem to get unlucky with our terror that we never. And kind of get to port just before, but on this one we're going to. That's good. So let's uh, get ourselves here. Let's gather intelligence. Okay, we gained five terror. That's definitely not good. Let's have some uh, shore leave though. And it's worth it to me to get a terror down below 90. Okay. Let's carry some clay men. What do we need for that? We need a rush for Okay, we got six clay men. I think I'm going to do one more surely. And then um, if we check the map, let's get in a bit closer. So we want to go to Godfall, because that's going to reduce terror. So I think... Let's think about things. So Godfall, Fieldhaven, Abbey Rock, Salt Lines, and then home. Maybe Hunter's Keep on the way as well. I think that's the way to go. I don't want to... Although we probably would have enough to go north, I don't want to do that this time. I want to, I want one voyage where we're not kind of, um, we're not worried about running out of fuel or out of food. We may get, um, we still have to worry about being blown up by um, enemies or um, also like our terror going too high, but um, I want to at least avoid some of the other, the other dangerous. I don't want everything to be against us. And then when we get, hopefully when we get back to London, we can repair the hull, and then we can plan what we want to do next. I suppose it's going to be, it's going to be about where the Admiralty want us to go. And also with the Sphinx Stone, it's going to be interesting. We're going to pick up some Sphinx Stone in the way. So it's going to be interesting to see if um, we get the one where they won't take it in London anymore. We have to take it somewhere else. 
So I'm going to come um, on the south of the island and then make my way up to the port. So we're definitely going to hit Night to Terror before we get there, which is a pity. Because then there's the chance that we lose another crew member. Uh oh. Get away from you. Oh, don't come this way. No, 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 no. Okay, that was lucky. Yeah. Oh, this is good. Stay in here. That's definitely going to help us. So we had to come to the north just because of what was in the way. But it may help us with the terror. Still going down. Still got a good chance though of going all the way back up before we get into port. Especially if it jumps that quickly, look. You know? Inside the land, it should be going down. At least we can get a blessing here. Let's speak with the monks. That never. Obviously, we need something else to make that, that actually do something. Let's see this. Thing. We got a port port. That's what we all knew, yeah. So now we need to get ourselves to Field Haven as quickly as possible. Let's head off there. Pretty sure we're going to lose another, um, at least one more crew before we get there. And then we're really in trouble. At least we have a chance to reduce our terror. So it's basically fingers crossed that we don't lose anyone before we get there. Let's um, dip a little south. That's not good. Don't come for us. No, go somewhere else. No, no, go somewhere else. Seriously. Okay, missed us. We have to kind of wiggle now. Oh, it's not working now. Missed us with that one. Still a while away from the field haven. Oh, five more damage. Come on. Yeah, there goes one of our crew. There and then we got another bloody pirate. So they left us alone just as the other pirate decided to. A very shanty challenge. Well, we're gonna give it a go on. We gained seven terror. Okay, and we failed the challenge. That's nice. They missed us though. Ho ho! Didn't miss us that time. Come well, on, let's get into port. We definitely, we have got to get into port. So come on. Go, go. To 17. 
Okay. A recent port. Um, let's take a picnic. We lost three there. Okay, let's get our port report. We don't want to replace um, our first officer. We do want to buy some fuel. Let's buy. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Now we don't have enough for our um, Sphinx Dome. Oh, silly. But it does mean that um, we don't necessarily then have to go to the salt lines. Which could we go? Because we could go from Abbey Rock to Hunter's Keep instead. Or what we could do actually is an Abbey Rock, we could sell some supplies. Can we stay in the light of the lighthouse as long as we can? Look at how fast though it, it, it increases and how slowly it decreases. But a blessing will help us, at least with the terror. Get ourselves, come on, get in there. Okay, there's just 20 echoes. There's a portal port. I'm gonna sell one more just for good measure. So we have 220 echoes. Let's uh, watch the comment. I can't get them to come out. That's not good. No? Okay, so we can't get a blessing then. So we just got to hope, really. Okay, so off to the salt lines we go. 17 hull. It's not good. And I was gonna say this is normally where we see jelly falls. I'm heading back to port. Come on, avoid him. Yeah, we definitely have to put into port. I don't think that would change, but... Okay, let's get ourselves out of here. Just have to avoid any kind of battle or crew loss to get ourselves home with our nine hull. Now we're gonna dip a little to the north now. We need to be making for the salt lines. We can't outrun anything that we come across, so 
we've got to kind of get there as quickly as possible. This is so nerve-wracking. So we're at 100 Terra now. Oh god. But if I remember rightly, we can reduce our Terra here. We just have to get here. We're only a couple of seconds away now. So we bought extra fuel because again we'll only just about make it home on our fuel. At least it's not as desperate as it normally or at least it's not as desperate as it has been in the, in recent voyages. Here we go. Salt lines. Let's visit the makers. Lost by terror. Great. Okay now. Let's compile a port report. Okay, so we got to, um, I guess, tossing that overboard is the best thing to do. Then we'll head off. So we need to get to Hunter's Keep. I'm going to stick close to this for now. And then break, um, break to the west when we can. Hope not to spot anything. Let's see, what's the sea? The sea is bright as milk, false stars above are black on a pitchy bed. Something is watching you. Its gaze enfolds your boat. You are transparent as glass. Flee the nightmare. Turn the helm and flee across the milky white sea. Okay, we failed. We gained five terror. Great, so we're back to 100. Okay, now let's head across to Hunter's Keep. Do we really want to do that? I'm not sure. Oh, let me think about it. No. Maybe another time. Right now? No. I guess another players don't have um this much hassle when they play every every voyage almost ending in death. So this is only 87%, so we still fail. Great. That's like uh, more <laughs> when you miss like a 95% shot. Got to go north and west. I hope he doesn't spot us. Hope he changes course. It's taking us further away from where we want to go, but we have to do it. Okay, as long as he doesn't change course in our direction, we should be okay. Well, we're a bit over half of there, but it feels like only half of there. I have another occurrence pretty soon. Oh, come on, 
we're almost at him, just keep. Please make it. Oh, I hope if you're watching this, please cross your fingers for us. It's so bloody close. It's weird to get that here about the tomb colonies, because they're up near. I guess though it's it's a hint for people to send out their bat. So it doesn't have to be right on top of the place. Okay, home waters, that's great. There we go. Thank God. Okay, let's launch in with, um, with Lucy, because that will drop our terror. We get a new supply, we lose our hunger. We get a memory distance sure. We have 41. We 41 of those because in the last episode we kept doing the thing where uh, like or not the last in two episodes ago uh, the one that we lost we kept doing the thing that was increasing and decreasing our um, our terror and we kept getting um, these memories of this ensure so let's recognize the island okay and then we can't do anything with that so let's just head on back to London. So we're actually going to make it with nine hull. We won't be far off of fuel as well, so we're lucky we bought as much fuel as we did. But as I promise, what I do want to do is to go to our officers and start inviting someone to dinner. So let's speak to... So we had, do have a Syrian Enigma, we picked that up along the way. I think that's going to be worth um, talking to her. Invite her to dine with you. Okay, let's see that and ask her to remove her glasses. You need to tempt her with the very finest gossip of the sea. She removes her glasses, folds them neatly and places them on the table. Then meet your eyes. Her own eyes are marvelously bright. The irises are amber. The whites seem to be flecked with gold. Yes, she says, I've been touched by the dawn machine. I believe you already knew that, or you wouldn't have asked me to remove my spectacles. I might be wrong, in either case, nothing has changed. Now that you know, we will still be wary of each other. She taps her tongue against her index finger. I am always the same. Do you see? I do not change. I proceed on the same path I always have. I am only one choice. And I will content only when and I will be content only when I have no choice at all. Now, let's eat and talk. You promised me something special, and I will give you what little I can return. Okay, so we've got a mirror and that. Um, so what do we want to say? Um, we're a natural philosopher. So I think we would disagree with it. Protest. The journey is the destination. Each choice you make in future will depend on this one. The ship goes where the captain sails, and where the captain chooses to sail depends on where you've been. Narrowed eyes. Perhaps, she says, perhaps our choices determine our heading, but at last, when the lamps go dark, there is only one direction. One day, we'll go there together. She won't be drawn further. She picks up her knife and fork. Between mouthfuls, she tells you something of the starved men and their wars on the roof. The arts of flesh shaping and that they practiced and debated. I enjoy this, she adds at the end of the meal. We should do it again when you're ready to talk about salt. Okay, we gained another heart as well. So I don't know why the total is 24 there, but it's 30 there. Maybe because someone gives us plus 6, so it doesn't um, include that.
so we have um, 63 secrets so we're gonna spend some to increase our mirrors okay then I want to go back to our officers I want to have, um, I want to speak to you and invite you to dine with me. Actually, let's do this first. Oh, we spent all of our secrets. Ah, I misread that. <laughs> it was a veiled. We didn't have like 50 odd secrets. That was our, um, sorry, our mirrors. Yeah, it was our mirrors. That was okay, uh, but we did lose our, we did lose one supply, but let's see what we got from it. His tastes, his tastes are spartan. He eats little, drinks only water, barely sleeps at all. So you need to only lay a simple table. An appeal. Thanks to the meal and the company. No, no wine. It makes me sleepy. Oh yes, I can sleep. Too easily. That's the problem. He, he hesitates. There's a draft I take nightly to substitute for sleep. It works well enough and it keeps me sane and upright. But I wish I could enjoy just one night's sleep. If you could help me, we need a clay man from Polytreen. We need a mirror catch box and we need to go to Hunter's Keep. I'll explain when we get there. No, I'm serious. I would owe you a great deal. Okay, so we need to go back to Polytrain for that one. Um, let's speak to you. What do we need? Five supplies. We need five torpedo components. So he's very expensive to talk to. We talk to you, and we want to talk to you then, if we can. Speak to. Okay, we can invite her to join us. Matter of philosophy. She smiles kindly. Why? Is the question with the longest tail? You wanted me here, didn't you? But why did you want me here? Perhaps you remembered something about me. Something about our business dealings, or about a certain business in Vienna. Your breathing is shallow. The lady in lilac looks concerned. You look unwell. Here, lie down. Let me. So we've got one fragment. You have one wound. At three wounds, you'll die. Okay, so let's maybe not talk to her again. The vampire lady, or wherever she is. let's get ourselves back to London because we've already uh, like this episode is probably the longest we've done so we definitely need to get back into London as soon as we dock then that will be the end of the episode and, uh, we'll do everything else at the start of the next one And then the next voyage is basically, as I said before, it's going to be where the Admiralty send us. And it might be determined as well whether um, the Sphinx Stone can be sold in London. So. But we'll find out all that out um, next time. Because for now, that is the end of this episode. And I really do hope to see all of you next time. Goodbye. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe you'll hit the subscribe button there on the right and check out some other videos here on the left.